Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. Libra, this is your mid-monthly reading for July 2022, so this is for July the 15th to the 31st. Libra, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that timing is fluid, so this reading can manifest the second half of July. It can manifest later on down the line of time after July. Or um, Libra, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. So Libra, I did get messages for you during the pre-shuffle. And the messages that I got, Libra, was... Um, Um, see, I knew I should have wrote them down. I thought I, I was going to remember them. Um, Libra, somebody could have been planning to do something against you. I don't know if somebody was planning on paying somebody to offend you. Somebody wanted to pay somebody to offend you. This could be on a, on a 3D or a 5D. It could be spell work. It could have been to cause you an injustice. Or somebody was expecting some type of money at your expense. Um, Libra, this person was supposed to meet up with a stranger or have some type of meeting or something, um, to discuss you, um, some type of wealth was involved. This can be earthly money or like 5D wealth. Um, <clears throat> Libra, if you a tarot reader, it could have been another tarot reader coming up against you. And this wealth is concerning you guys, um, intuitive gifts or your yeah, YouTube channel or whatever this is. It was something to do with wealth. Um, so I don't know if this is money or somebody, uh, wanted to come up against you because of wealth or they were going to use their wealth to offend you. Um, but that's not going to work out the second half of July. That's not going to work out. I also picked up, picked up two Libra for some of you guys. It was you guys that were going to use some type of wealth to offend somebody else. <clears throat> and Libra spirit is going to do you a favor and it's not going to work out. Um, <clears throat> Libra, I don't know if you was going to pay for some spell work on somebody, like an enemy or something. Or whatever. But Libra, if it's you that was going to use your wealth to offend someone... Um, spirit is not going to allow it to happen, but it's for your benefit, Libra, because spirit don't want that karma attached to you. And Libra, I think w w once you calm down, you're not going to want that karma attached to you as well. So, and the other message that I got, Libra, was um, one of your haters, or it could be a karmic, whoever this person is to you, whether you know this person or you don't. Libra, it's a hater. This person could be contemplating coming to you to confess um, some type of truth or whatever this person was trying to do to you. <clears throat> they could be contemplating um, coming to confess to you and telling you what they did. Or Libra, this person already knows that it's only a matter of time before you find something out. So Libra, this person could be trying to... Whoever this karmic is or this hater is, Libra... They could be trying to deceive you, Libra, because they know the truth is coming out. So it's like they're going to try to deceive you again be before the truth come out. Or Libra, this person knows what the truth is, but they're going to on purpose lie to you. Something like that. Libra, you're dealing with a spirituality hater. And there's something to do with the, with the truth coming out. So this person either wants to confess the truth to you, try to keep you from the truth, Try to deceive you before the truth come out. Or this person don't want to tell you the truth. But this person know what the truth is. Whoever this hater is, they know what the truth is. Alright. So, I'm going to pull two cards for you, Libra. I'm going to pull you guys an advice card. And I'm going to pull on your overall energy from the Sacred Traveler's Day. So, let me just go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to try to keep this reading short. Alright. So, what's Libra's advice? All right, I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take this. Okay, humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So Libra, Spirit is telling you to choose to focus on the lighter side, the lighter side of life. And I heard laugh a bit. All right. So basically, Libra, um, Spirit wants you to rejoice in tribulation. 
whatever you could be going through, rejoice in tribulation. Um, find the find the humor, and, and you know, and whatever bad could be going on in, in your life, something that's disappointing, some type of upheaval, whatever a tower moment, whether it's big or small, or this could be something concerning the past, a tower moment of the past. Um, Libra, your advice is humor. Humor. So, for example, Libra, say like this spirituality hater come and tell you, they confess to you whatever they did to you in the past. It's like Libra, spirit telling you, laugh at them. Don't get mad. Find humor in it. You know, don't get at mad. Don't get angry. Don't get fearful. Find humor in it. Because whatever this person was doing, it was like silly anyway. Or Libra, I just heard you knew that whatever this person was doing against you wasn't going to work. But they didn't know. So it's like Libra, when this person come and confess this to you, you're not going to be able to help yourself but laugh. It's like, why get mad? Or something like that. So humor. That's your advice. All right. And this flew out, out right out. Courage. I'm not going to take it, but it flew out. So courage. What's Libra's overall um, energy? What's probably Libra? Okay, so focus. So Libra Spirit wants you to focus. You're going to be focused. <sighs> Libra, something is only for you. Something is tailor-made for you. Um, I also just heard too, Libra, while I'm doing your reading... I might read your I might read this energy wrong, but Libra, you know intuitively what I mean, even if I read the energy wrong, because the way the card came out. So Libra, this is literally like for you. Something is tailor made for you between you and spirit. You understand. Or something like that. Cause I might get something wrong or something like that. Cause it's the way the card came out. The card came out like this. But I'm not really taking it like it came out sideways. I'm taking it as your focus, but you, you know, other people might not know, but you know what? <clears throat> Libra, for some of y'all, um, you guys might have a hard time being in this energy. You might be uncomfortable, Libra. You could be surrounded by distractions. So I'm picking up distractions. So Libra, you might be distracted. Or Libra, somebody around you is going to be distracted. It could even be me. I might be distracted from even while I'm reading your energy, Libra. But it's like, you know, you stay focused even though the other person or the other people is distracted. Or they're misunderstanding something. Or Libra, you're going to be distracted. <clears throat> it's like Libra spirit trying to put you in this energy, but you're distracted. Or you're, you could be uncomfortable in this energy, this focused energy. So you could be fighting against spirit a little bit or fighting your intuition. Or is it could be me as the reader. I don't know. But I picked up distractions. So I also heard Libra Spirit wants you to be focused. And he's going to put you in that energy because there's going to be a lot of distractions around you. Like I said, Libra, you have a karmic around you, a spirituality hater. <clears throat> and this is the person that could be trying to distract you. Or they're lying to you or something, Libra. Or are they trying to. So, hold on. All right. So, yeah. As soon as I start my reading. Y'all see I just got distracted. As soon as I started. So, let me read y'all overall energy real quick. Focus. Snowy Mountain Peak. So snowy mountain peak, it's saying the sacred landscape wants you to know what you focus on is what you put is what you pull to you. So put your attention on that, which is worthwhile. Okay. So Libra, that's probably what you could be doing too. You probably trying to ignore somebody or something. That's probably why this came out sideways. You could be trying to ignore something or somebody because you don't want to focus on that. So Libra, you probably want to, you probably could be trying to avoid focusing on negativity or a karmic or something. 
Concentrate on one desire. Direct your intent to one thing rather than being scattered in many directions. When your thoughts and actions are unfocused, it dilutes and diminishes your forward movement. It is much easier to gain results when you are concentrating on one path. Gather your inner resources and with intensity and passion, go forward and upward and you will see results. This is also a card of spiritual transcendence and traveling to higher realms. So stay focused as you elevate your higher consciousness. You are close to heavenly realms. All right. Whew. So Libra, you could be astro traveling on your own free will or something, or spirit might cause you to astral travel or something like that. Or something might happen to you, Libra, while you're in your while you sleeping. Yeah. So the this card keeps saying Libra, and it kept saying it, and it kept saying it. Focus on one thing. It kept saying it. Direct your intent to one thing. And then who else has said it? It is much easier to gain results when you are concentrating on one path. So, Libra, I don't know if Spirit could be saying just do one thing at a time or focus on one thing at a time the second half of July. Just one thing. <clears throat> just one thing at a time or something like that. I think it said it in that paragraph. It said one, like, three times, three or four times. Yeah, so Spirit wants you to focus on one thing the, first, the second half of July. Just one Libra. Whether this is a manifestation, you're trying to manifest something, or... <sighs> Libra, I don't know if you have several errands to run, and Spirit just wants you to focus on one. <clears throat> so Libra, say like you have two separate appointments. And like for each appointment, you have like four errands for each appointment. It's like, Libra, I don't know. You might have to put something on the back burner and just focus on one appointment and do those errands because it might take up the whole second half of July or something like that. Something. All right. Give me two cards for um, Libra for the second half of July. Give me two messages for Libra. All right, don't nothing want to come out? All right. I'm going to try one more time. Don't nothing come out. I'm putting this deck back. All right. Remain calm at this time. So, Libra, I also heard, too, the second half of July, you don't want people in your business. Or, Libra, spirit could be telling you to say less. Like, don't let people in your business. Say less. But anyway, remain calm at this time. Yeah, then we have goddess energy. All right. So Libra, maybe spirit wants you to remain calm at this time because you could be operating out of this goddess energy. Or Libra, spirit wants you to remain calm at this time because he could be could be um raising your vibration and you're gonna be in this goddess energy. Or spirit might reveal like this goddess to you or something. Or um, spirit could be giving you like um, like a, a extra gift. I don't know if this gift is for a lifetime or it's for a specific um, it's for a spe specific task. So I'm hearing spirit could be transferring some this goddess energy to you, Libra, for a specific reason. Or this is like for a lifetime for the remainder of your lifetime. Something to do with goddess energy and um, spirit wants you to remain calm about something to do with some type of goddess energy. Whew. So Libra, this can even be um, spirit wants you to remain calm probably even in your dream state. You might have to remain calm while spirit reveals something to you or while you're astro traveling. You might have to remain calm. Some type of goddess energy. 
It's like Libra. <laughs> you might be astro traveling. Oh my God. See, this is what I'm talking about. Libra, you might be distracted like a lot. Oh, that's another thing I picked up too, Libra. Um, Spirit wants you to save your space. The um, the second half of July. Save your space, um, Libra, whenever you feel led to save your space. Because there's a lot of karmic energy around you that's going to be trying to distract you. So, somebody just started ringing my doorbell like crazy. I wanted to answer the door and ain't nobody there. So, little stuff like that. So, so Libra, what I just heard, you got some type of goddess energy around or you're operating from this goddess energy. And you have little, little pestilence around you that's trying to annoy you because you're in this goddess energy. Somebody could be trying to get you out of this goddess energy and they nicking and they picking. So this could be people or it could be like, principalities or unclean spirits or something that's just trying to poke at you annoy you because you're in this goddess energy or somebody's trying to bring fear upon you libra um so you can like resist this goddess energy somebody could be trying to invoke fear or annoyance um so anyway that anyway like i was trying to say before i was interrupted again Libra, if spirit caused you to astro travel the second half of July. See, I forgot what I was even going to say. I forgot. Oh. um, <laughs> Libra, if spirit caused you to astro travel, like in your dream state. um, <laughs> Libra, I heard it's your fault. It's your fault. um, Because you... Libra, you in this goddess energy. So spirit might cause you to astro travel. And spirit might have something to say to you or something to tell you. Because you in this goddess energy. Or something like that. I heard it's your fault, um, Libra. If you astro travel while you sleeping. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So something like that. So um Libra spirit might spirit might cause you to astro travel um involuntarily because of this your goddess energy. So something like that. Cuz I know I kind of um experienced something like that before. I experienced that a couple of times astro traveling and and without my consent it was involuntarily. <laughs> But it was because of something that I was doing with my vibration. It Spirit caused certain things because of what I was doing. I was placing myself in a certain type of energy. So. All right. So it's like Libra. You, when you're doing certain things and it catch the most high eye, don't be shocked when he call you up. <laughs> Don't be shocked when he call you up unexpectedly. Yeah. So. All right. So let me go ahead and, um, oh, yeah. So I'm going to put two cards from the tea leaf deck. I'm going to pull one from the top and one from the bottom. So let's see. Bag. Something important such as a new job or a raise. Yeah. So Libra, this could be going back to what I was saying during a pre-shuffle. I don't know, Libra, if somebody could have been competing with you over, like, a new job or a raise. So, this could be something minor. Like, Libra, say, like, you was, um, you and a co-worker is competing for a raise or promotion. It's like, Libra, your co-worker was trying to, like, get your supervisor to meet with them in secret. Because your co-worker was trying to convince your supervisor to choose them and not you. Somebody was supposed to, like, meet up with somebody in secret. Or something like that. But it's not going to work. Something to do with the bag. And it has something to do with wealth. Something important such as, such as a new job or raise. And then we have woman. Dealings or relationship with the woman. So Libra, you could be dealing with this woman. Libra, this woman probably wants your bag. Libra, this woman probably wants this new job or this raise over you or something. 
Libra, you or somebody else is dealing with this woman. This woman could be your supervisor. This woman could be your supervisor, Libra. Or something like that. And she could be trying to figure out who she's going to give the raise to, who she's going to give the job to. This woman. So this woman could be um, your supervisor, Libra, at work. Or this woman could be um, this hater that could have been coming up against you. And it's about some type of bag or something. All right. So for the mid-July readings, I'm only pulling two tarot cards. Because, I, you know, I got to do all 12 signs. And I started the mid-monthly readings late. So, I'm going to try to keep the video short as best as I can. So, what's going on with Libra? What can Libra expect? So, we had a page of wands. So, I just heard Libra, you can expect some good news. The page of wands could be good news. Um, yeah. So, Libra, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Or you got fire in your chart. Uh, Pis uh, um, Leo. Who? Uh, Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. And then we got the higher font. So, Libra, you could have me dealing with a Taurus or you got Taurus in your chart. So, Libra, you might get good news from the higher font. And this could be the most high, the presence of the most high. Um, Libra, this could be you praying. This could be you praying. Um, the page of wands, this could be you praying to the most high. Or it's like Libra, like I said, you might astro travel. It's like you there now, you might get in his presence. Like that page of wands, you was being being very childlike, very optimistic. This could even be having like childlike faith, childlike faith. You're very passionate, innocent about something. So it's like you could be bringing your prayers to his throne, the throne. Or this is you astro traveling. I'm here and make your I'm here and make your request known unto God. That's what I just heard. Make your request known unto God. So Libra, that's that could be you on the 3D. This could be you praying or hoping. And it's like the most high is aware. He's around you, Libra. He's ready to answer you. He can hear you. <clears throat> um Libra, you might also receive good news from the higher font. So the higher font could be your supervisor at work. The higher font could be the CEO. Um, some type of court proceedings, Libra. You might get good news about some court proceedings. Libra, you might have court on a 3D the second half of July. And Libra, you're very optimistic. Libra, this could be you waiting in line because you have like some tickets to pay. And you're, it's like Libra, you standing in line or you could be at court and you have tickets or something to pay. And it's like Libra, you happy because you just glad that you got the money to be able to pay these tickets before they like repo your car or suspend your license or something. It's like Libra, you happy, um, you not mad, you're happy because you actually have the money to pay off these tickets or something like that. The hard font. It's like, Libra, you in, like, some type of place, a building. It could be court. It could be you paying off some tickets. It could be DMV. But it's people in front of you, Libra. You got to wait in line. I'm picking up your waiting in line. And, <laughs> Libra, you just happy. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Libra. You're either paying off some karmic debt the second half of July, or you're paying off some earthly debt. And Libra, you just happy about that. You just happy. Yeah. You're very optimistic um, the second half of July, Libra. Because Libra, it's like you looking at the situation from like a higher perspective. It's like Libra, you like, let me do this and get this over with so I won't make the situation worse. And it's like, Libra, you consciously know that. You want to do something and get it over with so you won't make your own situation worse. Yeah. So something like that going on. Or somebody is like, um, 
I don't know. Somebody could be trying to get parole. Somebody probably have to go before a parole board or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then we got confident Libra. That could be you. You're <laughs> very confident. What's the spell with this page of wands? Or Libra. It could be a fire sign that could have offended you. And Libra, this person might text you or tell you something. Because the higher font made them do it. They conscience. The higher font can also be somebody's conscience. Um... So Libra, yeah, somebody might confess like some type of offense somebody did behind your back. They might tell you Libra because their conscience made them do it. It's like Libra, this person that offended you, they're aware that they cannot improve until they can make a confession to you or tell the truth. So this person is a page of wands. Libra, this person wants to become the knight of wands. But this person is aware that they cannot make any bold changes until they speak some type of truth to you. Their conscience told them that. The higher font told them that. Or Libra, somebody, a judge or something could have told somebody they owe you or they got to pay you money. So Libra, I'm picking up this page of wands is you as well as the person who offended you. It could be a fire sign. Or Leah, you, um, Libra, you got fire in your chart. Libra, you can have Leo in your chart. Yeah, jealous. Yeah. You want, wants the one you're with. So, Libra. You can be in a little bit of trouble because you was hanging out with somebody that was jealous of you. And this person got you in trouble. So, Libra, you just going to be the bigger person and um pay off this karmic debt. Because somebody was jealous of you. Or Libra, the page of wands is the one that's jealous of you. Somebody wanted the one you're with. And um, this doesn't only have to be in love. This can be in, in any manners of life. This can be um, at work. Libra, somebody probably wanted your supervisor or somebody wanted your favorite co-worker to, want, to work with them. This could be siblings, rivalry. This jealousy, somebody wanted the one you're with. It could be any aspect of life. It only have to be in love. <clears throat> so Libra, you could be optimistic in spite of this jealous person. Or it's like Libra, some a jealous person got you in trouble or something like that. And you just going to pay off this karmic debt and get it over with. And you're going to leave this jealous person behind you. You could have learned a karmic lesson or something like that. What's the spell with the higher font? Yeah, stress. Yeah. Libra, I don't know if somebody could have been... Libra, somebody was trying to do something to you, like get you trapped. Or this person thought that you was going to bow down or cower out. But it's like, Libra, somebody is aware that you're going towards the higher font. This could be DMV. This could be court. This could be going off to pay your tickets. This could be you praying. And it's like, Libra, somebody's stressed out. So, Libra, for example, say like somebody hacked up some tickets or something on your vehicle. They did it on purpose because they was jealous. And it's like, Libra, this person didn't expect you to pay off those tickets. So it's like, Libra, this person going to find out you actually, you you know, you turning the other cheek. You're going to be the bigger, bigger person. Or Libra, somebody could have did something to you in secret and you didn't know it was them. And it's like, Libra, you don't got the time to try to figure out who this person is, why they did this, why they do that. It's like, Libra, you're just going to pay off this karmic debt and you're going to be the bigger person and get it over and done with it. And Libra, somebody going to be stressed out that you went to the higher farm. Libra, you or a loved one can also be in prison and somebody could be going up for parole and somebody is stressed out because somebody doesn't want somebody to be, be paroled out of jail. So the higher font is causing stress. Or Libra, it could have been a tourist who offended you. And this person is stressed out, Libra. If it was a tourist who offended you, this person is stressed out. 
or Libra, like I said, the Page of Wands could be the person who offended you. And the higher fund could be their conscience. And this person is stressed out. So it's like they might come and tell you, Libra, what they did because it's causing them stress. They got a guilty conscience. <laughs> I also see, Libra, if you got like a court date or something, something might work in your favor because the court or the judge could be overwhelmed. Like the judges or something or like the clergymen or whoever, they stressed out. They could have a lot of work. So it's like Libra, they might dismiss your case or declare you innocent or tell you, it, just go home. Like something because they stressed out or something. Yeah, something like that. Or something might get lost. Something might get lost too. So Libra, you could might be going to pay for a ticket and they look it up in the system and they like, ain't nothing here. And it's because somebody on the other end was stressed out. Somebody that was doing work or something in the system. Somebody could have deleted your um your uh violation by an accident or something, Libra. Or something. But what's the school with the page of wands and jealous? I gotta hurry up. What's the school with the page of wands and jealous? Yeah, obsession. Yeah. Someone is obsessed with you. Yeah. Libra, I'm hearing you got an idiot on your hands. Libra, for some of you guys, you don't know who this person is. For other you guys, Libra, you know who this person is. But this person, I'm hearing this person is an idiot. Libra, this person be doing stuff to you. So this could be like a form of identity theft as well. Something is very annoying to you, Libra. And it's like you have to pay because somebody an idiot. Somebody's obsessed with you. And it's like, Libra, you have to pay because it's like you can't declare your own innocence. So you have to um, pay for it. This person is an idiot. They're obsessed and they jealous, Libra. And it could be a fire sign or a tourist. What's the scoop with the higher fire and stress? Yeah, dead <clears throat> and reverse, huh? <clears throat> something has come to a complete end. Libra, somebody wanted something to end for you, but it's not. <laughs> or Libra, somebody tried to cause an ending for you, but it's not over. Libra, I don't know if somebody was paying for a death ritual, a death ritual over you, but it's not going to work. Yeah, somebody obsessed and they jealous. Libra, you dealing with obsession and jealousy. And this person wanted something to be dead and to be over for you, but it's not. Mm, mm, mm. Look at God. That's why your advice, Libra, humor. Humor. Because this person is an idiot. They just, they an idiot. For some of y'all, this could be a death ritual. Um, This could be a death ritual to your life or to your finances or to your job. Libra, I don't know if somebody could have been trying to get you fired. Or this is a co-worker. They didn't want you to get a promotion. But you're going to get it anyway, Libra. Yeah, something. Somebody probably wanted you to um get your license suspended, Libra. Somebody wanted you to get locked up. But it's not going to work. Whatever this obsessive, jealous person was trying to do is not going to work. And then it's at the bottom of the deck. Humor, laugh a bit, Libra. Because whatever this person was doing, ain't none of it going to work. It ain't work in the past, and it ain't going to work the second half of July. And Libra, this person going to have the nerve to probably come to you and confess. Yeah, so I'm going to end it. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And um, Libra, enjoy the remainder of July, and thanks.